Good morning. This is Steve from the Worthy Bugger Fly Company giving you your current Yakima River Fly Fishing Report for Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. So, as you can see, if you've been following our reports, all year long, the river has flipped and flopped. So you can see this is all high and dry. This used to be covered with water. Up there over towards the bank, four feet high. The river is now in fall fishing mode. And operating at extremely low volumes of water. So we've, we've gone from one extreme to the next with summer flows being super excessive probably more water in the river this summer than what i've seen over my 25 years here in the valley but we had an extremely warm summer so big demand for water and now the river is super low one of the reasons uh, they're pushing salmon. So this time of year they drop the flow of the river because the water isn't needed as much and then also push salmon in, into the spawning grounds. So Spring Chinook salmon will be spawning over the next couple of weeks in specific areas of the river. So if you're out wading, dropping anchors in the river, be careful, uh, watch for the spawning beds not to disturb them, let the salmon do their thing. It's a true benefit to the river, for sure. So as far as bug-wise goes, it's a smorgasbord of insects that are happening. So when the, uh, when the river drops like this, we get big, big hatches of uh, aquatic bugs that just weren't happening in the summer. So as you can see, when you when you come in and you look along the rocks here, you're going to see these stonefly casings along all the rocks. These are all movements at night that the stoneflies do. So big stonefly ha uh, happening. We'll start to see the big females start laying eggs probably this week, early next week. So. Dry fly fishing this time of year, absolutely off the charts good. If you're not fishing dry flies, you're actually missing out on some of the best fishing the Yakima can provide. So along with stone flies, expect to see crane flies. There's been nice caddis, caddis hatches happening during the day. There's also October caddis happening in specific sections of the river. More like the farmlands area and upper river right now. But, you know, as we move further into uh, September and early parts of October, expect to start seeing them throughout the entire river. It's also big mayfly time. Bluing olives, light cay hills, mahogany duns, all moving through the substrate of the river and providing excellent, awesome dry fly fishing. So it's really a, a great opportunity time. Match your uh, skills against the wild trout in the Yakima. Dry flies, emergers, little nymphs just absolutely fantastic it's a beautiful time of the uh, of the year to be out on the river you can see uh, our cold nights have kind of settled in we're, we're seeing you know temperatures in the uh, mid 40s sometimes lower highs in the 70s pushing near 80 this weekend so be a fantastic time to be out on the river you can expect fishing to remain extremely good 
throughout the entire month of October. Perhaps even into the month of November. We'll just wait and see how quickly winter settles in for us here in the uh, Kittitas Valley. But until then, absolutely fantastic time to be in central Washington. So if you have any questions, give us a call at the pro shop. We're happy to help. Stop by on your way through. Say hi. Visit us. We'll help you with whatever you need. Everybody have a great day and a great week.